Hi dear student, welcome to my channel. So in this slot, we're going to learn chapter 1, chemistry, introduction to chemistry. Uh, let me start with uh, history. Again, okay, the uh, chemistry word originated from Arabic word known as alchemia. Refers to the black soil from the river Nile and the English word alchemy is derived from the Arabic word. Chemistry existed uh, I already existed a long time ago, early 8,000 years ago. People in the Middle East already extracted metals such as copper and iron for making tools and ornament. 4,500 years ago, the Egyptians already knew how to make glass using sand or white sand. And the chemist, uh, French chemist considered as a founder of uh, modern chemistry, he did many experiments on the combustion of water and is known as Antoine. Antoine Lavoy Sir. Okay. And uh, we go for a second English philosopher. He also considered as one of the founder of modern chemistry. He did many experiments uh, on and and introduce the scientific method and the idea that the element are the basic unit of the matter and this english philosopher is known as robert robert boy okay i'll go for meaning of uh, chemistry basically chemistry is a study about four things number one is a study about composition structure and the properties and the interaction among matter as we know matter anything that has mass and occupies space matter are divided into three physical state and the particles that present in the matter is atom molecule and ion any form of matter is considered a chemicals then our chemistry enable us to produce many useful chemical substance such as ceramic glass soap plastic detergent modern medicine so i'll put here medicine okay and metal metal and we also able to produce alloy okay so these are the important uses of medicine uh, chemistry sorry okay i will go for the example of chemical substance and the uh, chemical names symbols and uses let me start with first one salt the chemical name of salt is known as sodium sodium chloride and writing the symbol so how to write the symbol so i'll put n a c l sodium chloride the uses of sodium chloride this sodium chloride is used as flavoring flavoring agent is used as flavoring agent okay to enhance the taste of the food the next chemical substance is sulfuric acid the chemical name also same as common name and the chemical symbol will be h2so4 this sulfuric acid is produced through contact process and this sulfuric acid is used to make make fertilizer it's also used to make synthetic detergent, synthetic detergent, to make detergent, okay, and also can use to make paint. And the third uh, ex common name of a chemical substance is known as nitric acid. This nitric acid, the common chemical name are same, and the symbol HNO3. And this nitric acid also used to make a fur fertilizer even explosive substance the chemical name of detergent we have two type of detergent i'll use of uh, the first type of detergent which is known as sodium alkyl sulfate and this detergent is used to as a act as what act as cleaning cleaning agent to remove the state on uh, stain okay the dirt stain from our clothes okay and the third uh, yeah, marble and limestone the chemical name of marble or limestone is known as calcium calcium carbonate carbonate and the calcium chemical symbol will be caco3 this marble is used as a filler filler for tiles filler for the tiles and also is used to make mortar mortar plaster plaster ceiling and so on okay and the uh, vinegar vinegar is uh, example is a, a example of weak acid okay this vinegar contains carboxylic acid the name of the chemical name of vinegar is known as acetic acid 
and the chemical symbol CH3COOH and this vinegar is used as preservative to preserve the food use as preservative preservative to preserve the food and sodium bicarbonate the chemical name same as sodium bicarbonate and the symbol will be NAHCO3 this sodium carbonate is used to raises dough dough for bread bread making process bread making and odd pack and coal pack this odd pack contains uh, ammonium Okay, odd pack contains anhydrous, sorry, uh, anhydrous, magnesium, magnesium sulfate, the formula MgSO4, and one more anhydrous calcium, calcium chloride, the formula CaCl2. This odd pack is used to warm up the body, especially uh, climbers, okay, and also prevent, prevent excessive excessive bleeding bleeding occur okay, for the injuries or uh, any uh, injuries in our body part and the cold pack is used on uh, the chemical substance that used in cold pack is known as ammonium ammonium nitrate or ammonium chloride any salt that contains ammonium Okay, so the symbol of ammonium nitrate will be NH4NO3. This coal pack is used to lower the body, body temperature, temperature of fever person, okay, of eye fever, okay, eye fever patient or person. And second one is also used in a spot, spot injuries like muscle cramps, so far and so on. Okay, and uh, we go for all the users finished. Then we go for next part, the carrier related to the chemistry. So we have a few uh, carrier related to the chemistry and I'll start with the explanation. The medical doctors, again, understand the chemicals process, process in the, uh, that occur in the body. And the uh, second one, the expert in medical uh, drugs, they know how to, how medicine interact with our human body. And this person is known as pharmacies and the third one help the police to solve crime by analyzing evidence uh, such as food any blood sample weapons poison and drugs this person is known as forensics forensic scientist and the third fourth one help uh, police to determine the cause of death by analyzing by an autopsy report and this person is known as pathologist pathologies and uh, use chemical substance to develop new way of food processing or preserving the food okay and for under food this is will be under food technologies technologies and last one the geologists again okay? the geologists they will do what they will discover the natural resources that found on the earth they use to study study the natural natural resources resources that found found on the earth okay on the earth okay i will go for the uh chemicals based industry in malaysia number one petroleum and natural gas and these are uh, contribution to the society is under fuels okay fuels and also used to make a petrol petrochemical chemicals products such as such as detergent detergent and uh, and plastic plastic and the second one is used to produce electrical insulator toys plastic bag rain uh, coat pvc pipe that will be under petro petrochemical industry Okay, fertilizer and pesticide for plants and also hormone for animals that will be under agro under agrochemical agrochemical industry 
various product of uh, produce various product from palm oil including soap and detergent this is under palm oil palm oil industry tire glove and condom this will be under rubber industry and the last one recycling paper aluminium cans other other substance into reusable industry this will be recycling industry these are the major industries that require the knowledge of chemistry again okay. and we go for one of the example of scientific method and how to do problem statement hypothesis and variables okay student try to look at the aim given in this uh, question so the aim given to in this question so i will underline if i uh, to investigate i will underline effects i will take a different color i will underline temperature then i'll take another different color i underline i underline solubility of sodium chloride then after that i'll take a pen i'll try to find the variables the manipulated variable the factor that change in this experiment okay I'll, I'll read the aim of the experiment to investigate the effects of temperature on the solubility of sodium chloride in the water the factor that change purposely or manipulated variable will be temperature so i'll write here temperature of water and the responding variable something that we can see is the solubility solubility of sodium chloride in the water so this will be the responding variable so this is solubility solubility of sodium okay chloride in the water and the constant variable we will take the volume so i'll put here volume of the water Okay, and now we try to do a problem statement. How to do problem statement? So I can use does, how does, what. Okay, this type of question. Problem statement, we have to create question for the aim. So I'll use does or here does. I'll take the manipulator variable, the temperature, does the temperature, the temperature. Okay, then effect, I change to effect okay then i'll see the rate uh, our responding variable affect the solubility solubility of sodium sodium chloride in the water then i must put question mark and we try to answer the problem statement that will be the hypothesis hypothesis will be initial conclusion how to answer the hypothesis the higher the manipulated variable the higher the solubility of the sodium chloride so when we add a, a sodium chloride into the water not cold water and the rate of dissolving will be lower when but when we use our hot water the rate of dissolving will be higher so therefore so we use the hypothesis we try to do the hypothesis the higher the temperature the higher the temperature the higher the solubility solubility of sodium sodium chloride chloride in the water so we already try to answer problem statement hypothesis variable and we try to do one structure question try student try to look at this question an experiment is carried out to investigate i will try to underline the importance requirement of this in this question investigate then i try to use different pen different color effect the mass of sodium chloride okay then i'll try to use another one dissolve in the water on the boiling point of the water then i will try to answer the question i will try to find the uh, manipulated variable responding variable and constant variable so the manipulated variable will be the mass of sodium chloride the factor that has been changed and the responding variable will be the boiling point of the water and the constant variable will be the volume of the water used so the manipulated variable will be the mass mass of sodium sodium chloride used and the responding variable will be the boiling point boiling point of the water 
and the constant variable will be the volume of the water again we try to do the problem statement in this experiment so how to do the problem statement so i will see a manipulated variable so effect i should change to effect does the mass of sodium chloride dissolve in the water effect on the boiling point of the water and then i'll need to put question mark so i'll write the manipulated on if a uh, problem statement so does the mass mass of sodium sodium chloride dissolve dissolve in the water water effect i change to effect on the boiling so i try to check on the boiling or point of water on the boiling boiling point of the water then i need to put question mark question mark then we try to check the result obtained as the mass of the sodium chloride sodium chloride will act as impurities okay students must remember the boiling point of water is 100 degrees celsius and the freezing point of water or the melting point of the water is 0 degrees celsius and if let's say in the water we add any impurities the boiling point of the water can increase so here the impurities will be sodium chloride when we check the mass of sodium chloride increases what happened to the boiling point the boiling point also increases so we can do the higher higher the mass okay the mass of sodium sodium chloride chloride dissolve dissolve in the water then we put the higher the boiling boiling point point of the water or we can write in another way as the mass of the sodium chloride dissolved in the water increases the boiling point of the water also increases any question uh, later you can okay put in the chat box okay so we go for the sum of the objective questions so we try together so if can students try together with me chemistry is a study about four points four things must remember study about the structure structure composition so first one structure second one composition third one will be uh, properties and the last one will be interaction of matter so the answer will be c and the word uh, chemistry is originated from arabic word known as alchemy sodium chloride is a common uh, household chemical substance that used in daily life which of the following is the chemical name for the sodium chloride that will be under table salt which of the following is the correct step when we carrying out uh, the uh, involved like experiment that involved uh, liberation of poisonous gases poisonous gases such as ammonia ammonia okay chlorine okay chlorine gas or bromine must be conducted in the fume chamber so answer d okay so we go on move on to the next part management uh, uh usage management and handling apparatus again okay, and materials so i'll go for first one with uh, laboratory the laboratory is an important place for learning learning and uh, chemistry and it is a dangerous place too all the rules and safety measures in the laboratory should be obeyed first one so we need to wear, wear safety goggles okay it's used to for preventing dust or splashes of chemicals from getting into the eye the face marks this will be the face mask is used uh, for protecting the respiratory respiratory organ okay from any form okay respiratory organ in the form respiratory organ in the form form of powder powder or in the chemicals in the form of powder or fumes and the glove is uh, used to handling chemicals to protect to protect the end okay from any injuries 
injuries okay chemicals injuries or chemicals chemicals infections okay or infection and we go for lab coat lab coat is used to as a protect any protection for the body and clothing against the against the chemical spill chemical spill such as acid alkali and organic organic solvent and the laboratory shoes is used to protect uh, the feet the feet from from injuries injuries caused by chemical chemical spill or sharp sharp object sharp objects or toxic toxic substances so the laboratory shoes to protect the feet from injuries caused by chemicals spill sharp objects or toxic substances and we go for the fume chamber a chamber the fume chamber is used to carry out experiment that produces or uh, releases toxic uh, toxic vapor okay and here is uh, used to uh, carry out experiment that release toxic toxic vapor caused by combustion and also or produce pungent pungent smell gases okay and the ammonia example of uh, gases that produce are uh, toxic toxic gases or produce pungent smell will be ammonia and h3 the poisonous second poisonous gases is known as chlorine gases cl2 chlorine gas cl2 the third one is known as bromine bromine br2 Okay, this to handle this type of uh, gases, uh, chemical reaction, so we need to use fume chamber. And safety shower and eye wash. Okay, safety shower and eye wash. This is uh, the safety shower. is used to wash and clean the body. Okay, clean the body from when a chemical, chemical accident, accidents occur on the part of the body and also used to extinguish extinguish fire on clothing and this eye wash so this is the eye wash is used for washing washing and cleaning cleaning the eye when the accident is occur on the part of the body or on the part of the eye sorry eyes okay and the fire extinguisher is used to extinguish extinguish fire okay fire in the laboratory and we move on to the last part how to handle storage and disposal of chemical substance chemical substance such as reactive substance reactive substance such as lithium 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 sodium and potassium potassium are highly reactive and they can react with uh, water air and oxygen and uh, this type of chemical substance must store in paraffin paraffin oil to prevent the reaction with reaction with a moisture air okay and now uh, we go for B hydrocarbon and organic solvent hydrocarbon and organic solvent use as a fuel and solvent and should be stored in shady area and far from sunlight and heat sources the substance that decompose daily are concentrated nitric nitric acid hydrogen hydrogen peroxide silver nitrate and bromine bromine solution chlorine solution can easily decompose and produce poisonous gases thus this type of chemical must store in dark bottle uh, the substance with pH value of 5 and more than less than 5 and the pH value more than 9 these chemicals are corrosive and must be stored in special storage cabinet heavy metals and toxic substance 
toxic substance and heavy metal should be kept uh, kept in a special label container and should be kept in lock uh, room which is free from the heat and light sources okay and we move on to the disposal of uh, disposal of chemical substance hydrogen peroxide the symbol h2o2 water the symbol will be h2o if hydrogen peroxide the symbol will be h2o2 exists as molecules the particles present is molecules hydrogen peroxide uh, with low concentration can be pour uh, directly into sink hydrogen peroxide with high concentration has to be diluted diluted with water water and added with sodium sodium sulfide sulfide for the decomposition process uh, before we discharge okay before decomposition process to be take place before it's being poured into the sink and solid waste like glass glass and rubber okay have to be done disposed into special container organic solvent organic solvent are mostly toxic toxic and carcinogenic Carcinogenic, the substance really harmful can cause cancer. If long, long terms of exposure to carcinogenic substance can cause cancer. Again, okay, and volatile inflammable, they cannot be decomposed uh, directly in uh, into the sink okay, or laboratory drainage because, uh, because it would pollute the environment and also water. It would pollute, pollute the water water and the environment and should be kept in special container that made up of glass or plastic and the substance with the ph value of less than five less than five and more than five is known as what well, as known as a uh, strong strong acid which is less than 5 and more than 9 is known as strong alkali can damage the sink and release eye heat eye heat and toxic toxic gases it should be kept in the label container heavy metal heavy metal should be kept heavy metal should be kept in a plastic plastic bag and the solution should be kept into the fume fume chamber kerbo wasa we call in blasphemy you eh? and the bag of heavy metals and residue should tie carefully and put into the container of heavy metal waste and lastly the volatile substance uh, volatile liquid such as alcohol alcohol ammonia and bromine bromine can easily vaporize into gas at room temperature some gases are hazardous to human and can be fatal if we inhale the in large amount this chemical substance should be stored in close close container and should be keep away from sun and heat sources Okay, students, uh, that's all from chapter 1 and also from me. If you like my video, please subscribe, please share, please support my videos. Thank you very much. I'll meet you guys in the uh, next slot. So, take care. Bye. See you. Ta-ta.